everyone and welcome to the first match in round five of the SEP tournament. Uh, it's still SEP with the tournament doesn't use SFE because it's buggy as hell. Um, the two clans playing tonight are Blood Tribe and Rabbit Dogs of Hell. Oh man, this is gonna sound like shit because I woke up with a cold today. This is Dark Storm by the way. Um, I'm Storm, Dark Storm, same guy. Uh, not much there. Um, Blood Tribe coming in with the momentum in this match. They have won. They have played one more match than RDH, and they have also won all four of those matches. So they're definitely the team to be rooting for in this match. And uh, RDH with an okay record as well. They played three matches, um, and their score is two wins and one loss. The map for round five in this tournament is Crossroads, and uh, looks like a pretty good turnout for both teams. Uh, uh, both teams will be playing with at least seven players, um, but we'll see if they can get any more. And it looks like uh, RDH will be going human first, and Blood Tribe will be going beast. Crossroads is definitely one of more one of the uh, more balanced um, maps in this tournament. Um, the previous four maps that have been randomly drawn, yes, randomly drawn, have been pretty shitty in my book. And so now this finally gives the clans a chance to play on a more realistic uh, map in terms of competition. RDH informing us that they do only have seven players, and uh, Blood Tribe has received Nietzsche, so it looks like they will have to drop one person, and the match will be a seven on seven. A, fair, a fairly good amount for uh, this map, um, considering how many players I see from RDH on, on a daily basis. I was, I must admit, I was a bit skeptical as to how many players they would get, but seven is pretty good. Blood Tribe had a crazy turnout for uh, Blood Tribe versus Kroll. It's too bad Kroll couldn't match their number. They had like 12, 13 people in the server ready to go. <laughs> crazy. Alright, this is for my reference to sync up the demo with my shoutcast. Three, two, one, now. What the hell? It didn't start. Damn it! Versus eight, RDH taking humans and uh, Blood Tribe taking beast, uh, beasts. And for the human team, we have the commander of Gobbler with the supporting players of Demon, Standard, Elliptor, Pingu, Disgraced, Slick, and Ben Dizzle. And for the Bloodshot Beast team, we have the commander of, of, of course, Nietzsche, with the officer of Headsman and the supporting players of Thonk, Neosis, Crazy Gates, Decoy, Kilfoss, and AFI. Started, teams are called, the restart load is active, we are ready to get this thing rolling. And 
here we go. The game is live. Normally I look at the beast first, but since it's crossroads, I think I'll look at the human first and see what they do. Because usually the human opening move decides the game whether they tech up quick or build a garrison. And the humans, of course, are power mining their main stronghold with Ben Dizzle heading for the flag. Garrison is up, they are power mining. is not making use of his stamina conserves, so he is limping towards the flag very slowly. Building constructed. Human arsenal is up, and they have started on crossbows. Looking over at the B side of the map, not much yet. Ah, there they are. Ed's been leading up the charge up the mid. There is only two beasts. Looks like they're power mining a lot of base. Ed's been with Funk supporting, fighting four or five our mage guys in the middle. Slick tried to sneak past, but Funk got him with Venom. Uh, beasts were very quick to get Venom quick, and Funk takes Slick down, but Slick takes him down too. Kill Foss on gold for the beasts. Uh, currently no beasts mid, they are power mining and just trying to get the tech advantage. Ah, there they are. They were waiting for Frenzy, that's what they were doing. And here comes Blood Tribe swarming out of their flag into the middle. With Frenzy, Venom, against Crossbows. Standard goes down. Funk and Neosis go down. Crazy Gate takes care of Ben Dizzle. AFI kills a lifter. And Hexman takes down Slick. With Decoy and Demons uh, dueling each other. And Demon goes down. Blood Chive takes the mid with fairly easily thanks to Frenzy. Triple Team and Disgrace. T takes care of AFI. He's still alive. Crazy Gates on him, and Crazy Gates give him a, gives him a nice headshot, and here comes more RDH reinforcements from the flag. Crazy Gates trying to sneak around. He's only got one hit left. Oh wait, no, he took a heal, never mind. And he gets the flag. The entire blood tribe Tempest and completely just dominates the few RDH players still at the flag. But one RDH player has snuck past the beast line and he is going for the beast flag. Completely unchecked, he will get it. Building constructed. And he takes it. That RDH player goes by the name of Slick. current flag battle is at the human flag. These have completely reclaimed the uh, human flag, but their flag is unchecked. They are sublaring the bird pit and um, are currently headed back to their flag, but let's see what RDH has managed to do with that territory. We have a few RDH players moving in on the B space, we'll see what kind of damage they can do. Ben Dizzle, Slick, and Standard moving in on the B space, just meleeing the fire shrine because all they have is scouting heads. They take care of AFI, the only defender. Kill thoughts from behind with Tempest. And Slick goes down. Man, a 
tracks are running really quickly. Let's take a look at the attack. They have destroyed a building. For the human team, they have crossbows, med packs, and uh, ammo building packs with a siege factory just completed, but not much else. They do have a mag factory with scatterguns, but I have not seen the feeders yet. No word on savages. And for the beast tech, they have fire, strata, tempest, frenzy, stalkers, all that good stuff. And they have a somewhere right outside the human base in the bird pit, but they do not control the human flag, so we'll see how that goes. Pingu currently sitting in the beast back door, um, unscouted, looking possibly for a siege rush, but uh, Nietzsche does have a worker back there, so if they, even if they do get a garrison up with ballistas, uh, Blood Tribe should have a fairly easy time coming back and defending off that siege rush. And the garrison has been uh, put under construction. Pingu is building it. It is at about 5%. Here comes Decoy to uh, scout the area. He has Frenzy, Tempest, and Sacrifice. So he sees the garrison, puts on Sacrifice and Frenzy. And it's down. He didn't kill Pingu before he killed the garrison, though, so Pingu is just still standing there. <laughs> Pingu kills himself so that he can spawn back at his base and help out his team. The humans still control their flag. They currently have a few players burning around in the middle of the map. Meosis takes the human flag for the Blood Tribe team. But not before a lifter spawns, so there's currently a battle between those two at the flag. And Neosis sticks the flag again. Still no one's fine. Ouch. Takes a headshot from a repeater and uh, Neosis is down. And the humans re retain the flag. Taking a look at the human base, it's completely getting its ass handed to it by sacrifice because there was never a shield tower constructed. Stronghold is at one fourth health, so it looks like this game will not even see predators or legionnaires. Stalkers just finished off the stronghold by just Good meleeing game. it. Didn't even bother with sacrifice. RDH pretty much had no reason to spawn at that point because of the massive tech difference. So BT wins one. We'll see how round two goes.
feeling that this one will, that this round two will take a lot longer though. Because Nietzsche is obviously more capable of building a human base than uh, a gobbler is, and just BT has the advantage just overall in this match, and so, and since it's technically a beast map, um, BT should have a little trouble, a little trouble moving up the map, but they should be able to win it sooner or later. But it definitely will take longer. I have just been informed by fire that I have been mispronouncing uh, the commander of the Blood Tribe's name. It is actually Nish, not Nietzsche, so I apologize for that. I will call him Nish for now. Pichinichi, I guess. Whatever. So a slight change in the Blood Tribe lineup. Called in their two substitutes, Giant Triple and AFI. I did not catch who left. So, uh, yeah. The RDH lineup looks pretty much the same. Gobbler commanding with the supporting players of Demon, Standard, Disgraced, Pingu, Bendizzle, Elliptor, and Slick for the Beast team. And for the Human Blood Tribe team, Obviously, Nietzsche will be commanding, even though he has not taken it yet. With the supporting players of Crazy Gates, Neosis, Headsman, Decoy, Killfoss, Giant Triple, and AFI. I said Nietzsche again. God damn it. Niche. It's Niche. Okay. That's it. I won't say Nietzsche anymore. Guardians has received another player by the name of M U R. I wonder if Blood Tribe will be able to uh, answer this, or if he will have to leave. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Seems that NUR is not up to date with how this tournament is going. Not, not only does he not even know that I am the uh, coordinator of this tournament, uh, but he thinks spectators are allowed. So uh, I have to <laughs> type all this stuff to him again. God, it's fucking annoying. Players like this who are so fucking clueless. And Pingu has sat out for NUR, so he has taken his place. And it looks like we're ready to get, go get going on this. Serving his stamina, so he'll get there a little quicker. We've constructed a garrison. Hmm. Human flag has been capped. No one's spawning. They must be waiting for crossbows. The crossbows have not been started yet. And there's the blood jacks and spawning. Quickly go for the garrison above the hit on the hill above their flag. Um, all the other track players go up except for heads in and just scouting the bank. And finally, RDH moves up the men. Hello. Three on one Attack against uh, headsmen. They do not have them. Headsman valiantly warding them off. Don't know how to stop that there he is. Demon gets the cheap back shot in behind him and headsman goes down. Have crossbows, and it looks like it will just be a simple mass battle right here in the upper portion of the mid because the humans have a garrison, so that uh, that flag will not be taken anytime soon by the beast team. Taking a look over on the beast side of the map, we have one uh, RDH player mining long kits. That is. Who is that? Ben Dizzle. And looking over at the beast base, they have level 2, and they went entropy first, so it looks like they are going for a quick gate. 
which is a very sound plan on a map like this, because even if the humans use every single sensor they have, they cannot cover their entire portion of the map. So we'll see if RDH is able to uh, come up with a game-winning gate. They have a charm shrine, uh, so looks like they will be going surge with uh, some of their Spectating Demon for the Beast team. They have stalkers in 25 seconds. Um, they are sublaring the back door of the humans. Maybe it'll go up, I don't know, up on the other side of the map. Uh, currently in Demon's inventory, we have Frenzy and a Surge. The middle of the map looks pretty much the same as it did when I left it. Taking a look over at the human back door, we have Disgrace building a sublayer. Going up very slowly. I don't know if he'll manage to build it before uh, Niche decides to scout his back door. Taking a look over in Niche's uh, base. Let's see what we got here. We got a little too strong hold. He has just completed his siege factory. He has a uh, magnet and a research center. Spectating AFI for the uh, Bloodshot team, he's currently caught money. He doesn't have any weapons or items though, so he can't tell me what tech they have, but he has started research on a sensor, so that would lead me to assume that they have no packs on my packs. Spectating Hedgeman, he has a scouting gun. Yeah. <laughs> item available! And he's just starting on. Ah, there we go. Uh, head's been loaded out, and I got a look at the human tech. They have savages, repeaters, uh, med packs, ammo packs, sensors, and they have ballistas in 22 seconds. No attempt at a backdoor uh, garrison, though. And Blood Tribe finally has one human scouting their back door. We'll see how that goes. Zooming over to the human back door. We have AFI taking on uh, Disgraced with a repeater and a savage. And Disgraced came out with a scavenger was no match and he was killed. And then Gobbler uh, destroyed the subway. Current scores are completely opposite, but not that much different. Um, the human team obviously having more kills. Their current score is 14 to 5, and the beast team is just about the reverse of that, which is 5 kills and 14 deaths. The beasts have a lair level 3. Maybe they would go in, they're going for a behemoth gate. I don't know. Still, the only tech line that they have is Entropy. They have not gone Strata or Fire yet. They are now sublaring their uh, southwest mine. The beast team, that is. Zooming over to the middle of the map, we have a few beast siege units, summoners, moving up the map. Those summoners are Slick and Ben Dizzle, pressured by repeaters. Currently only Killfoss and Giant Chirp are holding them off in the middle of the map. They're taking cover behind the uh, stone mine. Ouch! Boom! Fucking headshot. Chipple just took the summoner purple ball of death right to the face. Courtesy of Slick. Got a little taste of his own medicine there. Humans still holding the flag fairly easily. Uh, beasts are not pushing that area at all. They have deployed sensors. I have not seen a gate attempt by the beast team though. 
um, even though they've had entropy for a pretty long time. He has his shield on the stronghold. He has uh, level three. He has a chemical and electric er, electricity. So we should expect good things like demolition packs and relocators any minute now. If you want to have fun with items, you should definitely play on the human team. Their items are very fun. And the beast team has predators, and they have strata with tempest. So it looks like they're very, very And as I suspected, the beast team does have full energy on their uh, entropy shrine, which means they can gate. But for some reason, even though they went entropy first, they are not going for a quick gate. They're just Crazy gates getting a peak of the human tech. They of course have relocators. Uh, catapults in 60 seconds. They're starting on landmines. And I would assume they have legionnaires, and they do. Uh, crazy gates just relocated and loaded out so I can get a look at that tech. They pretty, humans pretty much have full tech at this point. They've got electric, uh, chem, mag, and all the items for all three of those. And uh, pretty much the only weapon they still have for research is pulse cannons and launchers. Taking a look at the map overall, uh, fairly nice um, sensor coverage by the uh, Blood Track team. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot of places you can get. And over on the B side of the map, uh, they have no sub layer close to the mid whatsoever. They are purely using their spawn flag, and uh, they have absolutely no scouts back door though. Oh, now they do. Uh, Gobbler has moved a worker into position in the back door, but seeing as he just did this right now, if a Blood Tribe player had snuck uh, to the back door earlier in the game, a siege rush might have ended this rather quickly. And RDH is finally trying again. Let's see where it's going. Spectating NUR, he's taking a summoner along with uh, Van Dizzle's behemoth. Oh, the gate is all way back door, way, way back door, and it looks like it's going to go up. <coughs> and the gate is up. Uh, they spawn seeds, very weird gates spawn seeds units from though. I think they should have uh, spawned scavengers and built a uh, subway back there. The behemoths aren't going to do much good with the gates so far away from the base, especially when they have a shield. But we currently have a beast siege rush headed from the back door uh, with a very difficult gate to hit. Um, I'd say that tribe was a little out. And they've already taken out one tower. I wonder if it was even shielded. In comes decoy with the buffs and decoils down the gate. was very interesting. That tower from this position looked like it was shielded, but I mean, with only two summoners on it, very su surprised the hell out of me that they destroyed it. Because that one behemoth didn't get anywhere near that base. Oh wow. And with the beast team focusing on the back door, Nish took advantage of that and has garrisoned the uh, midstone line. He's currently working on a shield for it. Blood Tracker doing an excellent job maintaining 
area control around that garrison so that no stackers can get through. And it looks like the humans will control the mid for at least most of this game. Very nice move by Niche. Um, while most of the beast team was occupied at his back door, he took the advantage and moved workers up to the mid and uh, we built a quick garrison there. And because of that, the beasts were not able to recover and uh, a stack in time because they had used all their gold on CG. Taking a look over at the beast flag, uh, the blood child has captured it. Uh, in comes standard with the firebug to try and take it back, but crazy, or no, not crazy, it's Meosis takes him down with an, with an Eli buff. So currently, and who is that? Slick comes in and takes the flag back, so it's currently 3 on 1 against Meosis, and he is almost dead, he might want to reload. Nope, he takes a mag buff, and ooh, he gets the flag right before he dies. Not a lot of spawnage by a blood tribe though. <laughs> Only headsman spawns with a catapult. He goes right for the Monkit sublayer, but does not take it down. And the flag remains in the uh, hands of the rabid dogs of hell. Spectating Kilfoss, he is the uh, next team and closest to the beast. Uh, the beast flag, he is currently headed for it. Absolutely no research going for the humans at this moment because they have full tech. Absolutely no one spawning as Killboss just wobbles in with his big fat legionnaire and takes the flag. Standard, the first to spawn. Firebugs, kill boss, but kill boss takes him out with a free swing. And Neosis takes an Eli buff and is currently working on that subway. Kill boss joins him, and it looks like the subway will go down. Ouch. Crazy Gates with the. No, not Crazy Gates. Who is that? Giant Triple with the exclamation line finishing off the subway. And the Blood Tribe team completely controls the beast flag. It comes Slick, but uh, Triple gives him a nice headshot with the catapult. I wonder if Slick knows that the uh, splash radius on this server is <laughs> somewhat upped from what he's used to. Now you know the spike. And he's being cut off from their gold, they're currently just charging at the blood tribe position with uh, stalkers and scavengers. No predators whatsoever. Fairly smart move by Gobbler. He has sublared his bird pit, so the beasts have some sort of gold. And it's a nice spawn to keep the blood tribe in the vicinity of the beast flag as well, so that they cannot expand beyond that point. in the uh, southwest of the uh, beast's uh, half of the map. Currently just on the share out about seven, uh, about seven workers. And he destroyed one subler, but then he reloaded. There is still another subler in the southwest uh, portion of the map. Currently having no gold issues, they have over 20,000. Uh, and Stone is looking pretty good, they have 3,600. And looking at the scores. <laughs> oh man. Blood Tribe's score says it all 68 and uh, RDH's score is 2270.
Blood Drop currently working on my Subler and the uh, RDH Bird Pit. They have it down to about one fifth. Edsman meleeing it. No one is challenging him whatsoever. He will finish it off. And it's down. It's got the garrison in its place uh, within minutes. A garrison there would secure a victory for Bledgemon. Spectating standard for the uh, beasts of our age team. They have a lot of stone, uh, surprisingly. But they have absolutely no gold, so the team is about to find it. So their gold is dwindling at about 1500. But they have way more stone than they have. They have uh, 5700. Very interesting. Not a whole lot going on now, it just looks like a public game. Uh, the humans uh, stat horning from the flag. Uh, stat horning scavengers very much. And Nish has built a uh, garrison in the uh, beast snow area. Tested, but there is one beast headed for it. A scavenger by the name of NUR. He completely bypasses the garrison and goes straight for the flag. We'll see if he can make it, but without a storm shield, he will probably get pounded in the face by a landmines before he hits it. Or not, there's only two landmines. <laughs> oh, man. Right as he comes to the attack. axe right to the side of the head. And Blood Drive is quick to take the flag back. Giant Triple's uh, most recent uh, course of action has led him to the back door of the beast space. Er, uh, yeah, the beast space will be catapult. He's currently working on the charm shrine, covered by two legionnaires. And the charm shrine goes down. Takes blaze, which gets him down to about a thousand hit points, but he gives uh, a nice catapult to the face for his efforts. goes to work on the fire shrine. The fire is down. Currently only scavengers to stop them with blaze and ember, but they do get uh, giant triple is down. And amid all the confusion, uh, Nish brought workers into the back door and has constructed a garrison, and he is currently working on a shield for it. Giant Triple, the ever persistent uh, siege horror, spawns with another catapult. With headsman and a secondary catapult to support him. Niche saying GG, and uh, I'm sure that's a pretty safe thing to say at this point. Both Blood Tribe catapults aiming for the lair, not even bothering to attack. Lair is at 3 fourths. One half. One fourth. It's amazing how much damage those catapults do. One percent. And that's it. Beast Lair has been destroyed. And that's game. Blood Tribe wins with a Good very game. impressive score of two to zero. Oh. Slick, very impressive, getting the only uh, respectable award on the uh, scoreboard for the beasts, and that award is most violent with uh, about 10,000 player damage. And that's pretty much it. Rabid Dogs of Hell have been eliminated from the tournament. 
Uh, they, this is not the first time they have lost. And Blood Tribe continues on with a very uh, respectable score of 5-0. to zero. Not much else for me to say, but I will say it was a uneventful match in terms of like uh, just excitement and stuff. I mean, very standard strategies used by both teams, um, and Blood Tribe came out on top mostly because I mean the commanders on both sides were pretty much even matched. I mean they teched at the same speed both games except for the first game because um, Gobbler had extreme uh, difficulty at his base because his team could not hold the flag. But in the second game, uh, both commanders teched at practically the same rate, and I think I'm pretty sure Gobbler even beat uh, Niche to Legionnaires with his Predators. So uh, overall, the match simply won from pure muscle um, and effective spawn points. So very nice job by Blood Tribe. I am pretty much done. Nothing else to say. Uh, this is Dark Storm for Vandalism, and uh, the this is the SEP tournament. I'll see you guys later.